into the last 500 meters and Rose Bay blushed still a length and a half in front. Blue Bell Glade is back in second. Luna Legacy in between them is in third and half a length off that leader. Blue Bell Glade now gets first run and went for home. Gypsy Myth has got two to make up. It's in the green and black in the middle of the course and up the inside is Kerry Rose. Now with 2.50 left to go. Blue Bell Glade, Gypsy Myth in the middle. Critical Mind is making progress. Joali Femme to off the inside. Luna Legacy as well. Gypsy Myth though came into the lead and went clear by a length and a half. Joali Femme up the inside is going to come with one final lunge, but not today. Gypsy Myth wins from Jolly Femme. Then came Blue Bell Glade, runs third, just ahead of Critical Mind. That's one for the team downstairs. Number one, Gypsy Myth, bred by the Summerhill Stud. This could be another vital win in the run down to the wire for champion breeder. Naresh Juglal for Gary Alexander. The Alexander stable has well and truly turned the corner. Very good uh, effort last weekend. Looked like they're continuing the trend. Number one, Gypsy Myth will build on that last run when second to Magic Jet. And well done to everybody concerned. Mrs. Gardner, the Summerhill Stud Syndicate. Uh, Tenia, Gardner and Van Royen, the winning owners. And Gypsy Myth wins at a length. Zwali Femme runs. Okay, we've got a mic that works now. Uh, thanks very much at last. And victory for the number one. Uh, Gypsy Myth from the Gary Alexander Yard. Julie and I were watching you and we were saying, when are you going to let this filly go? Uh, you were sort of tucked in behind, but once you saw daylight, off you went. Yes, um, Somali, you know, when you're behind a favourite in a race, you know, in a, you're in the right position, you know. And I tried to follow the longest I could to the favourite, you know. I don't know when I got into him too early because my filly too is still a bit dumb. I want to get there the latest I can. And I thank God when I got there, when I asked the filly, she gave me a very nice kick and she won a very decent race. I'm going to say big thanks to Mr. Alexandra again and to the owner, you know, been patient with that. And thanks again for the ride. It, lo it looks like uh, she needs about 1,800, 2,000. Yes, last time when I jumped off, uh, I said this horse will stay easy, you know, all day. And Mr. Alexandra find another race for her in, in, in this type of field. Uh, when I came to the ring, uh, I told Mr. I said this horse should have a big chance today, you know. I think I'll be a little bit more handy and, and everything will work out. Well, and thank God the, everything worked out well and went a nice race. Lovely. What about uh, watching it? Just a bit closer, please. Watching. And when is he going to let this filly go? That's what we were saying in the uh, presenter's box. Yeah, I think he was tracking the two-year-old, yeah. uh, watching. Uh, the, uh, she, she wants further. Yeah. Uh, but I must do my auditor of 30 years and my friend. Yeah. This is his first winner. Right. So I'm very pleased for him. And to my wife's traveling back from Durban, her colors, uh, to the team, to Mick on the farm, I think she's she's going to go on from here. She's Lovely. quite well related. Lovely. Yes, sir. Sir, come in. Your first winner. You've got to have a you've got to have a word, sir. Great thrill for you. Great thrill. Indeed, uh, absolutely magnificent. And the Bruce is here. He, he knows the ropes in this game. Oh, he certainly does, and uh, I'm very lucky to be associated with him. Well, your Phillies won a good race today. Thank you very Thank much. You very much indeed. Well, there we go. Gypsy Myth. That was. Uh, uh, pretty confident selection from Jules and I here uh, for this race. Has beaten home the seven horse, uh, Jolly Femme. Then came the 13, Bluebell Glade.